Now today we're going to have a look at the Razor Blade Pro for video editing. Want to order something from the US but they won't take your credit card or ship to your country? You need Big Apple Buddy. It's as easy as one, two, three. Check out the description for a discount code for your first Big Apple Buddy order. How good is it at content creation? A lot of people ask for this so I will do it. Now this model here has a quad core 7700 HQ processor, 45 watt quad core part, 7th generation. GTX 1060, full GTX 1060, it's not Max-Q or anything like that, 6 gigabytes of RAM with that GTX 1060 and it has 120 hertz display. Now the display is 100% sRGB, so most people do output to the web, so that's perfectly fine. You can get a model with a 4K display and a GTX 1080 and also a higher spec processor with a higher clock speed, the HK model. Now obviously for content creation that probably will be a bit better, having a 4K display will be better, especially if you edit 4K content, but for gaming I would prefer the 120Hz display. Now the GTX 1060 versus the GTX 1080, the GTX 1060 is like the perfect sweet spot when it comes to video editing or content creation visual effects and stuff like that. The 1050 and 1050 Ti, they do a great job. 1060, perfect sweet spot. Anything over that, yeah, it's better, but it's not of a magnitude better. I will get to render times later, but first things first. What makes this great as a gaming laptop also make it great as a content creation device? There are a lot of people that use gaming laptops for visual effects, video editing, stuff like that. Trey Ratcliffe uses one, uh, Surface Studio, I'll leave a link to his YouTube channel. Channel. He uses a gaming laptop for all his After Effects, Houdini, video editing, that's what he uses. He's got a killer desktop but he still uses a gaming laptop because he can take it around with him so he doesn't have to port project files from this computer to that computer and it's got the power. These gaming laptops have super power, so they're great for content creation. Now this is probably gonna be one of the shortest video editing reviews I've had because this thing just chews through 4K content. So here I have the sample project I always use. The content is actually on the SSD, it's not on the hard drive. Best practice would be your content would be on the hard drive and not the operating system SSD. Would be better, like maybe in the future you could replace the um, hard drive with an SSD, then this would be like the absolute perfect content creation creation machine. So anyway, let's see. This is 4K content taken out of a Panasonic GH4. It is color corrected. As you can see, this pink layer here, that is the color correction, the adjustment layer. Look for this green symbol here. When that goes to yellow, it's dropping frames. So, and these are high resolution photos. They're 36 megapixel or something, because they're from a D800. So they're very high resolution photos in this as well. So. Uh, let's just scrub. Beautiful. Like butter. We just scrub slowly through there. Look at that. It's like butter. These are high resolution photos and no problem scrubbing through that. Scrubbing through the 4K video. Beautiful. Fantastic. No problems there whatsoever. Forget about that. That's just a missing file. Smooth like butter. So scrubbing, you'll have no problems. Now let's play back some 4K content with color correction and a LUT applied. So I'll just show you here what this looks like without the color correction and LUT applied. And if I just go to no LUT, you can see. I'll just uh, control Z that, that'll be better. Yeah, so there you can see big difference, right? And you know, there are all the adjustments here and some more adjustments down here. So let's see, will it play through this with color correction 4K content? Boom, look at that. No problem playing through 4K content at full. As you can see, full, no frames dropped. Playing 4K content, no problems with color correction applied. Now that is what you want. And that is super power, okay? That's that's what you want. And that's what you get with this GTX 1060. That's the difference between this and like um, graphics cards that are a bit lower spec. They won't be able to do this. This plays it at full with color correction. If I try that on a MacBook Pro, if I take away the color correction, no chance still. But if I take away the color correction and play it at half, it'll start playing it. So a big difference in performance there. Let's see if it plays through high resolution photos. As you can see there, 36 megapixel photos, I think it is 36, something like that. 
and it's playing through those and that usually kills the system that especially when they're moving like when you got a bit of motion there so very good in that regard so pretty much that's all you need to know right No, we'll just apply some effects we'll just um apply some transitions and see if you can play through the transitions now normally you can't do this on even on the xps 15 once you start out in transitions and xps 15 will play this at say with all the color corrections and so on but once you start adding effects and stuff that's where the limit is reached there and typically you wouldn't do this you you, you usually color correct last and um, you usually put transitions last and so you wouldn't typically do this but um, let's see if it can play through some transitions here all right let's see let's see boom straight through the transition no problem still green light here no frames dropped another one boom oh look at that that is superb performance there all right so we only have a real test here is can it do multiple 4k streams let's find out let's just do the four streams here so i'm just roughly doing this um just moving these videos about and go to this one uh, yep okay so that is four streams there four streams of 4k video still scrub through it yep seems yep scrubbing through it no problems i mean they're very slow moving videos anyway so there's not much to see there but yeah it scrubs through no problems let's see if it plays it four 4k streams okay it dropped a few frames there see again and there it is playing through them five 4k streams let's see how she goes still scrubbing i don't see an issue there still scrubbing nicely uh five 4k streams it just started to drop frames but i'm um, very usable let's try it again see if it drops oh five 4k streams okay that's about the limit there four 4k streams it will do five it's starting to drop frames but even though you are dropping frames it's still very smooth all that means is when it goes yellow is yeah, oh, it's actually playing through. Yeah, it's starting to drop now. So, even though it is dropping frames, it's still very smooth. So, what about rendering times, I hear you ask? Well, it's exactly the same as the Alienware 13 with a GTX 1060. That is, like, freaky. It's exactly the same. Unbelievable. And as you'll see there, it also smashes the MacBook Pro. Video editing, this has got you covered, of course. The 4K model with the 1080 will be better than this, but still this is a killer laptop for visual effects, video editing, stuff like that. And I could highly recommend this as a content creation machine and it games like a champ too. So win-win-win uh, there. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I thank you guys for watching. Leave a comment down there if you want to know anything. And until next time, guys, tally-ho.